So this women in funeral business, part two, our first one where we talked about Henrietta was the first female undertaker. She owned the first funeral home in America owned by a female. We also now are gonna talk about another woman who blazed the path for all of the females going into the business now. Because if you didn't know, like 80% of people going into the funeral business into mortuary school are females now. So Lena Odu is her name. As an experienced nurse in her 40s, Lena Odu acquired embalming skills for herself and opened the first embalming school for women in the United States. Women's activism.nyc reports, the frontier didn't suit her and her work. However, and she moved to New York City. Odu worked for the St. John's Guild Hospital, a charity that cared for sick children in the city without regard to color, creed, or nationality. It's likely in this work that Odu heard the desperate request from mothers for women to embalm their daughters and young children who had passed away. They requested the deceased be handled with delicacy and dignity. It made sense to her. Embalmers at the time had a rough reputation and she asked why would this left work be left just to men? Why not women? She recognized a need she could fulfill. Odu set out to study embalming in Europe and the United States and in 1898, she had not only acquired the skills and knowledge to do the work, she was ready to teach women. She went into the business with a well-known funeral company in New York City, setting up a training school with 10 women initially enrolled under her instructions. Like, where are those 10 women now? That's what I wanna know too. Only those applicants with a healthy nervous system and high moral character were accepted. In 1901, with $2,000 in capital, she incorporated a school on her own, the LD Odu Embalming Institute, the sole embalming school at that time for women.